Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be talking about six matchups in college basketball and who I think are the better value bets against the spread and this is going to be for February 23rd, 2017. As always, if you're interested in getting our daily free pick, you can head on over to our main website stumpthespread.com and I will link Stump the Spread in the video description if you want to access us through those means. Uh, like I said, going to be talking about six matchups I will put those down in the video description as well if you want to see what games I'm going to be talking about. And also, if you want more of this pick video content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. So heading right into it here, the first matchup we have is Marshall versus Old Dominion over in Conference USA. Both of these teams um, obviously have strengths on different ends of the court. Marshall has one of the top-rated offenses in the nation in terms of output. While obviously they sacrifice heavily on the defensive side of the ball. And then you have Old Dominion, who's just the opposite. They've been one of the top 10 defenses in the nation this year. But as a result of that, they've been playing really slow and have sacrificed their numbers on the offensive side of the ball. So when these two teams played earlier in the year, Marshall was able to dictate the pace of play. Uh, they went on to win that one in what was a very competitive game with uh, Marshall getting the home court advantage in that one. It'll be interesting to see uh, if Marshall's able to dictate the pace of play in the rematch today on the road. Going to be a little bit more difficult here, uh, getting away from their comfortable home court atmosphere. So Marshall, they got off to a really strong start to conference play. They haven't been quite as good over the past few weeks, um, but they did pick up a recent uh, solid win against UAB, and they also recently won on the road against Western Kentucky. So those were some pretty decent results for Marshall more recently and then you have old dominion another team that just like marshall capable of making a run in the conference usa tournament that's upcoming this is a team that you know has to win on the strength of their defense given their deficiencies on the offensive side of the ball we feel like this can be another pretty competitive matchup and right now with marshall getting about six points we feel like the thundering herd are going to be the better value bet against the spread in this one Moving on down here to the Pac-12, we have a matchup between Southern Cal and Arizona. These are two teams that played uh, not all that long ago, maybe a few weeks back or so in Pac-12 play. In that one, Arizona got off to a huge lead. Uh, they were up by over 20 points, and it seems like Arizona in that one got a little bit complacent there once they got that huge lead in the final 10 minutes of the game. Southern Cal came roaring back as they finally started to make some of their jump shots. But in the end, Arizona was able to hold on and pick up that win on the road. We're pretty high on this Arizona squad, especially when they're um, fully healthy and have all of their guys on the court. Uh, that matchup over at USC, Arizona didn't have Trier on the court. Obviously, that makes a difference. Um, and also, Arizona is going to be getting the home court advantage this time around. Both these teams are in the NCAA tournament right now. Obviously, Southern Cal more... Um, higher seed right now than Arizona. So a win here for Southern Cal would definitely hurt their resume or help their resume more. But uh, we feel like Arizona behind their home court advantage uh, should be able to pick up another convincing lead against the Trojans and then close things out um, as a result of not being on the road and being behind their uh, home crowd advantage there. So we're going to go ahead and side with Arizona and give the points here as the better value bet. Moving on down and over to the WCC, we have a matchup between San Francisco and Loyola Marymount. Coming into the year, Loyola Marymount, there was quite a bit of expectations on this group to compete, not necessarily uh, get past teams like Gonzaga, St. Mary's, and BYU, but definitely slide into that fourth spot, potentially. Um, unfortunately for Loyola Marymount, they haven't been quite able to live up to those expectations, uh, sitting just below the uh, middle half of the WCC right now. And actually San Francisco has stepped up and occupied that position that most people thought Loyola Marymount would occupy. Uh, San Francisco currently standing fourth place in the conference and been just having a better year overall in comparison to Loyola Marymount. When these teams played earlier in conference play, it was a fairly competitive matchup, but San Francisco was able to pull away in the end as they went on to win on their home court. We really don't see all that much difference between these two rosters in terms of talent. And uh, this time, Loyola Marymount in this revenge game, going to be getting that home court advantage, which we feel like is going to really help them out and help their cause as they try to 
uh, get past San Francisco here. We do like Loyola Marymount getting the two points right now. It was a pick em, but now Loyola Marymount has shifted and getting some points here, so we feel like the Lions now have some value uh, getting the points on their home court. And then right below that, we have Gonzaga versus San Diego in the WCC. Gonzaga has been consistently dominating teams throughout conference play. Uh, we do see that this spread has shifted down a bit. Earlier in conference play, Gonzaga throttled uh, San Diego at home, picking that win up by well over 20 points. Um, Gonzaga right now, best win differential in college basketball by a large margin. Part of that has to do with the fact that uh, they don't necessarily play in the toughest conference from top to bottom, but still, this is one of the best Gonzaga squads we've ever seen. And that's really saying something, given the amount of talent that Gonzaga lost this past offseason. They were able to reload um, with just you know returning guys stepping up and also uh, some new guys coming in and really taking on a large load. So we feel like Gonzaga on the road here again is going to go on to win convincingly as they go on to cover this uh, large spread. All right, just a couple more games that I want to touch on. We have Quinnipiac versus Marist. The Marist Red Foxes have not been much of a factor at all in the MAAC in recent years. Uh, Marist has been slightly better this year, but still sitting in the basement of the conference. Uh, the Red Foxes here going against a Quinnipiac squad who we do expect Quinnipiac in the coming years to be uh, more of a consistent factor in the MAAC, given they have some of the best facilities in the conference. Um, and also, uh, this group also right now has some pretty intriguing talent that they're going to be building around. Uh, Quinnipiac always ranks very well on the boards. They crash the offensive glass like almost no team in college basketball, and that can uh, really give this group a boost on the offensive side of the ball. We expect that to be a difference maker in this matchup, as Quinnipiac should really own the boards here against Marist, and getting the significant edge on the second chance uh, scoring opportunities should allow the Bobcats to really make this one competitive as they go on to win and cover this very small spread here. And just one more game that I want to touch on, and it's over in the big sky between Weber State and Eastern Washington. Both of these teams have been right up in that upper tier of the big sky throughout conference play. Uh, Weber State wasn't able to come through in their last outing at home, falling to another one of the top teams in the conference, North Dakota. Weber State has had their issues against some of the top teams in the conference, even though they have consistently taken care of business against the weaker teams in the conference. Uh, Weber State, earlier in conference play, was able to get past Eastern Washington at home, but it was a very competitive matchup, and that was a game that really could have gone either way. Uh, Eastern Washington has some of the more efficient scoring threats uh, in the conference with two of their leading scorers have been very efficient on the offensive side of the ball, and Eastern Washington... Uh, they might not be quite as consistent against the mid and lower tier teams in the big sky, but they've also uh, shown pretty well against some of the other top tier teams in the conference. And we feel like that can be the case again today, uh, Eastern Washington behind their home court advantage and also Eastern Washington. They're one of the better free throw shooting teams in the nation. And that can also really help in these games that are competitive and go down the stretch. If Weber state has to play the foul game, uh, Eastern Washington should be able to knock down their free throws. So we're going to go ahead and side with uh, the Eastern Washington Eagles on their home court as the better bet against the spread in this matchup. So those are the six games I wanted to touch on in today's video. Again, if you're interested in getting our daily free pick, you can head over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, and I will link that in the video description. And also, if you want more of this pick content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. And that's going to wrap it up for us. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.